never a dull moment. <laughs> Don't eat the bean. <laughs> He's eating the Don't bean. Don't eat the bean. Oh. oh. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I got Matt some candy and he had thoughts. Matt, did you enjoy your candy and what were your thoughts? <laughs> I just want to say thank you for the candy. You're welcome. That's Matt. so sweet of you to My give pleasure. me candy. My pleasure. For those of you that uh, are off screen, which is all of you, Matt got me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt got me a big lemon head. I, I, I got you three if you want them. Aww. One of the big big boys. Big I don't know if I actually heads. like lemon heads. Well, you're going to find out because I got it for you. <laughs> Thanks. This is, this is uh, in reference to something that won't make sense, right? No, it'll make sense. Will it make sense? Yeah. Okay. They'll have sat in on the, the Lemonhead controversy. They did. Lemonhead gate. Okay, Lemonhead gate. Yeah. Sure. Um, I stand by what I said. I don't think Lemonheads are hard candy. Okay. Well, so I, this weekend <laughs> I took Ollie to Rocket Fizz, uh, which if you don't have a Rocket Fizz near you, I totally understand it's 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 been growing and expanding over the years uh when i first moved out to california there was one down the street from us super cool store hashtag not spawn uh where it's all a bunch of old and unique sodas as well as candies so you got like old candies new candies weird candies uh interesting sodas one time because i'm me steph and i took the summer and we did a taste test sampler of every single cream soda that they had had a, an entire spreadsheet full of it so we could figure out what the best cream soda in existence was, uh, which is Hank's, Hank's cream soda, top tier. Absolutely fantastic. But, uh, so I was there, Ollie really wanted a bunch of taffy. We did a taffy taste test, uh, cause he really likes taffy. Uh, he says he does, but then he doesn't eat like half of them because he doesn't like the flavors of them. He forgets that he doesn't like the flavors of them. Anyway. Hey, if he's willing to try it, I'm all aboard that. But while I was there, I'm like, wait a minute, there's a bin full of lemon heads, and Matt thinks that this is a not hard candy. Let me pick up this hard ball of sugar and get it for him so he can enjoy the candy. I stand by what I said. The fact is... You stand by what you said, but you also gave context to what you said. Which was? Which was. So I tossed it to him, and he's like, oh, this is a hard candy. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, okay, no, yeah. So no, in my yeah. head, lemon heads are those are the little guys, which I had never heard of. Yeah. I didn't realize that lemon heads came in like a tiny variety. Yeah, I've only ever seen the tiny guys. Okay, I've see, never I've seen, only seen these the big, big boys. boys. Yeah, that's a, that's the hefty boys. So when I see the big boy, this makes more sense to me that one would assume that this is a hard candy. Okay, yes, because it's here. It is because large. it's so large, large and in charge. So like biting through that. Yeah, you're not biting through that. Hard. That's a, Hard to It do. is the equivalent of an atomic fireball. Yes. Same size, same density. Do you think it's the same manufacturer? Probably. Probably. Sure, why not? Yeah. But I'm like, that makes sense as to why you would call that a hard candy. I still don't think that it is. But I'm like, checks out. You know what else You know, what just <laughs> came as a surprise to me as I'm reading? I'm like, I wonder what this says in here. Where's the manufacturer? And I'm looking around on it, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm like, I wonder if it says hard candy. And it, I haven't been able to find it. It might be on here somewhere. What I was surprised to find in big, bold letters is produced with genetic engineering. <laughs> right on the back. Because it's a lemon head. It's, it's produced with genetic engineering. That's what you want to see on your candy. Wait, is that like a part of the lore? Of the, <laughs> the lemon head lore? Lore! Oh, it does say that. Well, yeah. I thought maybe it was like a joke because like the whole bit is that he's got this big lemon head and that's what you're sucking no, on. No, I, I don't think you slap something on a food product and say produced with genetic engineering. As, oh yeah, it's, it, people get it. It's part of the lore. Ash, part of, it's our mascot. Ash, what do you think? I've never had a lemon head. I got an, I've, I've got like three more for you if you want. Do I, what do I do with this? Do I, just... I feel I got three, and and not to be like cheap or anything, or like oh Matt only deserves three lemon heads. <laughs> I got three. Here's my thought process. I got one to be like here Matt. Yeah, this is a real not hard candy. So that one was like my dunk on you. <laughs> Two was like oh, but if you enjoy it, here you go. Yeah. And then three was you don't want more than three lemon. No, yeah. <laughs> like that was it. It's like if we, if we go extreme, three, and then it's done. 
Like, that's it. You're not doing more than three lemon heads. After you've had three lemon heads, you're set for, like, the next decade of your life. And then you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, that was that candy that I had that one time. <laughs> Let me revisit that. The average person averages about one lemon head every, like, four years. Right, exactly. <laughs> right? So it's like, all right. So there you go. You're set for the next 12 years of your life, Matt. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, you were telling me a story about Atomic Fireballs, though, which oh, yeah. I did want to call out here before we hop into meme review. Um, so I went to summer camp a lot when I was a kid. Okay, I was yes. a summer camp kid. Nice. And the summer camp that I went to used Atomic Fireballs, the candy, as, like, currency. Yeah. Like. As, as, if pri- as though they were prisoners <laughs> using cigarettes. Kind of smuggled in sick. Do like, you have to smuggle them in a places little or bit? No. no. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> but the thing was, and this is all coming back to me now. Oh you, no! You would keep them in your sock, like a big sock, and you would tie that sock to your waistband, and you would walk around. <laughs> what? And use it as a bolo <laughs> against your other like summer camp summer camp gang members. No, and the bigger your sock was, the more like clout you had. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. Why? Why atomic? That seems so random and so arbitrary. Like of all the candies. Yeah. Well, why I think atomic it's fireballs? Because they're the least edible candy. <laughs> Lemonheads. I mean, clearly, I never meant a lemonhead. But yeah, no, they, they are. You, you can't. Uh, you can't consume them in bulk for for sure. Ash, you doing okay? I, Ash I is see fighting you. demons in the corner. <laughs> I, Ash is. Matt and I are having this conversation about atomic fireballs. Ash is like summoning the rain god or something. <laughs> Ash, what? There is a fruit fly and he really likes me, but he's kind of freaking me out because he won't leave me alone. And like, that's okay. Like, I like having friends and if he wants support, I'll give it to him. But I don't know where he is and I'm afraid and I don't know why he chose me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I had to get it out there. I don't know where he is. Oh, no. He's going to, he's, that's the worst. When, when you know it's there, but you don't know where it is. He's just like, he's getting so up close and personal. No, I, me, I spotted him, but he left me alone. He See? chose me instead. <laughs> I got him with your bolo of atomic fireball. I need that sock. <laughs> yeah. I need the sock, get, Matt. Get a nice hefty sock. Full of cinnamon candies. Soft candies, according to Matt. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Fireballs are hard candy okay. because you can't really bite into them. Sure. Okay. So anyway, okay, so what did you spend your atomic fireballs on? Well, so like you would literally, like you would go to camp store and like buy like soda with like Oh, this fireballs. is an official no, like the, of the camp? The camp, like, yes. Because <laughs> so, at the beginning of the week, there was the fireball carnival. They're going to be able to figure out what camp I went to, probably. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Is that bad? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Probably not. Um, but yeah, at the beginning of the week, you'd have the Fireball Carnival, where if you won <laughs> games, you would get Fireballs, and then you would have them to spend throughout the week. Really? Mm-hmm. Or if you, like, did good at archery, if you got a bullseye, you would get a, a, fireball. a fireball. If you, I like that they just used this... Like, they could have made, like, paper tokens. Yeah. They didn't, though. Weird. I think it's probably honestly... It's like using candy corn. No one's going to eat this candy corn. Well, it's like... Like, paper's going to bend and fold. And if you're a sweaty child running around... Yeah, that's (laughs) Like... Smart. You've got this hard thing of candy that no one's going to eat. What was the best thing of a... What what was the best thing your fireballs bought you? (sighs) Shasta Cola. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yikes. That was the best. (laughs) Because I've had Shasta Cola. (laughs) Yeah. That's all they had. (laughs) <laughs> Rough. I'd rather eat the fireballs. Yoink. All right, hey, memes. memes. So, so while Ash deals with their ongoing saga with the the fruit fly, who's and, choosing violence right now? I'm afraid. And and Matt reminisces about his sock <laughs> full of fireballs. <laughs> Let's talk about memes. So over on the Game Theory subreddit, you guys know the deal at this point. Uh, you know we're always looking out for your theory suggestions. Uh, stuff that you want to point out to us. Great repository for fan art. Uh, the amazing mods who are out there are constantly doing kind of like monthly activities with you guys. Um, so across the board, we're always excited to see what you have. It's been a while since we've gotten a chance to actually hop in and do a meme review. Uh, so let's do it! I'm sure that there's all sorts of good stuff. Um, so without any further ado, I think uh, Matt Nash have, have pulled up some stuff for us. Did, oh yeah. Who 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 do we have to thank and or blame for what we're about to see? Um 
me. Yeah, Ash okay. was the curator. I, I got really excited. Great. No, good. <laughs> well, cause As I, you should, because this is amazing. It's amazing. And the first, the last meme review was my first episode. So it feels like it's oh. coming like... Full circle? Yeah. Are you about to leave us, Ash? No, it's just I'm reflecting. <laughs> I'm reflecting back at how far I've come and uh, just the, all kinds of stupid stuff I've said so far. No, amazing. Okay, great. Yeah. Are, have you gotten some... Are, are we going to see some Ash memes in here? We might see some Ash memes. Nice. Okay. Just, just a little, little meme image. <laughs> Great. Just a smidgen. I don't know. I, I feel like the story and the saga of you versus Fruit Fly is gonna spawn a whole <laughs> genre of content unto itself. I hope so. Or maybe I don't. Actually, I don't. Please, this is uh, for the next meme review, since, since Ash will be the one collecting stuff, please send in your what you imagine Ash's battle <laughs> against the Fruit Fly to have looked like. Because I know what it looked like. You don't, but I saw it, and it was it was something. All right, hey, uh, special pirate one. But, but then again, what would we be, what would we be without FNAF? Future MatPat trying to tell past MatPat to avoid. FNAF. <laughs> no, no, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, and 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 MatPat is just like, no, we're doing this. I and it's all thanks to you guys. You know, FNAF wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for you on Twitter telling me to do FNAF. That's it. And thus the fate of the channel was sealed. It was either, do you know the story, Ash? It was either FNAF or Slender Man. I did a Twitter poll and I'm like, hey Twitter, there's this new game that a lot of you are, are talking about that you might want me to cover called Five Nights at Freddy's oh my with this God. bear. Or it's Halloween, I can cover Slender Man. I got whiplash. I was not <laughs> expecting Slender Man to be mentioned. Yeah. Well, also, wasn't Slender Man out for like at least three years at yeah. that point? No, Hunter, it, it would have been like a nostalgic, like, hey, remember Slender Man? Let's do a theory about him. Because, spoiler alert, we're pretty late to the party on some of these franchises. Uh, and so that was the, the choice that was out there. And people chose Five Nights out the, in the multiverse of madness, out there in the multiverse, there is an alternate universe where. The Twitter followers chose Slender Man, and everything is different. Oh what do you God. think that universe I looks know, like? I know, I'm trying to like picture it. Right? Well, you've seen everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, it's true. That's Hot Dog Fingers. That is, that's the Hot Dog Fingers <laughs> universe. Flop, <laughs> flopping around. Like everything goes wrong. Yeah, everything. <laughs> I'm wearing a beard. I don't wear jackets anymore. You're wearing a beard. It's not a real beard. No, it's a fake beard. <laughs> yeah. Literally a felt peel-on beard. There it is. I don't wear jackets. The jackets are like inside out. Who knows? Oh my god! Crazy. They wear vests. <gasps> oh no! Oh curse! No! Curse. Oh, perish the thought. That's the darkest timeline. I wear a vest. <laughs> I give Jason a hard time because he unironically wears vests. I'm like Jason, Aww. don't wear a vest. How, how do you Jason. feel? Here, you guys are hip and with it. <laughs> what is proper vest <laughs> protocol? Are vests okay? Vests are kind of coming back. Oh, I wore a, a vest recently. Did you? It was, I, well, it was like a, it was a cute little, like, it's like a wool vest. Ooh. I wore like nothing underneath it. It was like. Oh, just. <laughs> just. <laughs> Paint me wearing no, this. No, it was cute. And no, only I promise. This. It was I trust cute. you. I trust you. I had you. pants on. <laughs> It's just a cute little vest. Yeah. A little cute little vest number. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. When was the last time you wore a vest, Ash? Um, it was a couple of Halloweens ago when I dressed up as Marty McFly. Cool. Yeah. Nice. That was the last time That's, I wore hey, a vest. Hey, all right. It's nice. All right. Vests are coming back, according to Matt, as long as you're wearing nothing underneath them. All right. This is future Matt Pat telling everyone to, no, don't wear the vests. Don't wear the vests. Here we go. Remember. Oh, here we go. Uh, super sexy stylish 69. Uh, sounds... Nope. Uh, Matt, I, I caught myself. Uh, Matt Pat before and after. Feel old yet. Remember him. This is, oh, this is Matt Pat after FNAF floor and food theory. Gotta separate your bones from your. I like that it's FNAF and food theory. Well, I think that is a food theory. Gotta separate. Do you, do you have to separate the bones from the meat? That's that's our theme. Let's dedicate 15 minutes to, to explore that one. Ah, uh, yes, the three theory channels. Game theory, me up in a tree. What? 
There's an arrow. Oh, there, there's there, an arrow. I, I promise. I, I, it was, it, no, it, I'm like, there's got to be an arrow here somewhere. It was just very well camouflaged. <laughs> Food theory. Okay. Me in the kitchen. Five nuts of friend. No! Oh! Poor film theory. No love. Where's, where's poor film theory? It's nowhere to be found. Forever alone. It's sad. It's sad, really. I don't know. I don't know why film theory gets so neglected. Oh, it's he's there. He's doing great, actually. In fact, when it comes to when it comes to the channels, film theory is I think the one that has the most views this past month. Huh. Yeah. So film theory, no one appreciates, but surging back. I brought I this up so that we could do a little merch plug. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. You want to do a little merch plug? Yeah. We can do a merch plug. Okay. Let's do a merch plug. I yeah. gotta get the it merch, don't I? A... <laughs> I like that you thought through half of this. Of like, I did this for a merch plug, and then, here, I found, luckily there was one on the table right in front of me. Hey, the Core Collection merch is available right now. Well done, Matt. Wait, wait, wait to program it in there. Core Collection merch is available right now. And look, all the channels are represented. Game Theory, Food Theory, maybe that blue one is GT Live, like everyone seems to think. Maybe that blue one is the FNAF channel. And then there's that red channel that no one cares about. So there you go. That's available right below this video. There's also the hoodies. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. <laughs> <coughs> Look, there it is. Boom. The reimagining. Represent all the channels, including the... F if it, see, if it was FNAF theory, like this one, we'd do like the purple channel or something like that. What do you think? Should the blue channel be just GT Live? Would you guys like to be represented on the wheel? I would love to be represented on the wheel. On the wheel. That's actually yeah. something I've been thinking about for yeah. a long time. Really? That, yeah. That you feel... People always talk about what's the fourth channel going to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is the fourth channel. I mean, technically the fourth channel is food theory, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, this was the third channel. I'm Like, I'll settle for GT Live being the fourth channel. Wow. wow. You know what I At mean? At this point, yeah. But not even that. No, nothing. Mm -mm. Not even qualifies. No, like <laughs> literally... Even though this is the channel that produces the most videos. Yes. You know, when, when we're like looking at this week's schedule, it's like, oh man, we need three videos for GT Live for next week. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All the other ones are like, oh, I'm just coasting through with one a week. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. the workhorse of the channels. We are. We carry a lot. Mm -hmm. We. I know. Plus. The triad. Yeah, the triad. <laughs> Trio! We are the strongest shape. <laughs> Triangles, strongest shape. As an only child, that was actually the motto of my family, too. The trio, <laughs> strongest shape. No? Or you were an only child, right? I was. Okay. Are you laughing at me? No, I just like that your family was like, triangles! We were. It's three, three pointed. That's why it's bridges. That's why it supports bridges. Ash. I love it. Are, are you, are you, it's my family crest. The yeah. Patrick family crest. Trio, team trio. Oh, oh. I love it. I love it. What? Did, GT Live be like. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. There's this is Team Trio right here. It's us. This is the triad. This is this is the triad. This is a a a accurate depiction of what the triad looks like. There's there's Ash. I like that this this is me. I, I see this. Yeah. This is this is accurate. Like I, Do you catch them all, Ash? Oh, I do. I, you know, I'm from Pallet Town. Mm -hmm. I have um, random companions who come with me for a certain amount of time and then suddenly disappear. There's, there's Betwixt Us, the, the phony, the phony from Betwixt Us. Yes, there is the phony. It's true. So that is that your P, basically your Pikachu? <laughs> have they met the phony yet? In the lore of the channel? Sure. Sure they've met the phony. Our phony? They must have met the phony. No. They've met the phone. Oh, maybe they haven't met the phony yet. Yeah, I don't think they've met the phony. Oh, get <laughs> strap in, friends. You're going to beat the phony one of these days, and it's going to be great. Oh, man. Y'all got to... I don't... I was going to say strap on in, but you already said that, and I didn't want to copy you because <laughs> I respect your intellectual property. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be that. It's original creation. Do not steal. OC, do, do not, not steal. steal. No, please don't. All right, so that this is this is an accurate depiction of of the triad over here, the triumvirate. 
Triumvirate's a very cool name yes. for, a, for a, a group of three. You got trio, you got triangle, you got triad. Triumvirate. That triumvirate. feels... Triumvirate. Yeah. Or have... like Mark Anthony, Caesar, and the other guy <laughs> that everyone always forgets about in the triumvirate. The other guy. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Do you remember? No. Matt, you're well educated. You ran to the back. Matt ran away. Matt. I think he got attacked by the fruit fly. Yeah, he's gone. He was eaten by the fruit. Like the fruit fly literally opened up its maw and ate him. Oh no. Yeah, it's him. I have a rest quick, in peace. Quick question before yes. we move on. Have you played Switch Sports yet? I have not yet. Okay. Here's a crime. Okay. Matt is not in it. Really? Yeah. That's a that is a letdown. Right? Who is in it? Like just a bunch of random me's. I've seen a tweet where there's a Brad and he looks like Matt. <laughs> But he's a little happier and he has less facial hair, but it's not correct. That's unacceptable. Are y'all talking but... Nintendo Sports? Yes. Yes. I like Nintendo Sports. So sports? <laughs> it's really good. It's yeah. Matt's really back fun. with the deep insights <laughs> that yeah. only mere Matt can provide. I was having headphone issues, so I'm talking left. about Nintendo Sports. <laughs> I like Nintendo Sports. <laughs> Thank you. He and with it. that, please slap that on the review of the game. Yeah. Theorist approved. Mirror Matt says he likes it. I like the I like, I like the Nintendo sports. <laughs> the volleyball one is fun. It is. Also, bowling is kind of different. See, everyone's yeah, wondering like, like what happened to bowling where they're sixteen and you have to yeah, defeat the others. Yeah, I've kicked some butt online so far. <laughs> I'm glad. Just love. In a world where everyone's like, oh, video game blogs are going to die. You know, I, who needs IGN scores, this and that. This, you want you want to know. Everyone, old media is like, how do we recapture the youth? How do we make our opinion valid? Why do people not value IGN scores anymore? It's because this is the <laughs> reviews of the future. Mirror Matt just gave us an insight into what the reviews of the future are. I'm all about saying more by saying less. Yeah. Yeah. Less is more. I like Nintendo sports. <laughs> he likes it. No hey, more Mikey. IGN. It's only MMR. Mirror and Matt reviews. That's good. Mirror Matt reviews. That's good. That is. That's that's a good one. I like it. All right. All right. Let's take a moment to appreciate the energy ash. Oh, we got the spicy ash memes from GT LOL memes. They and Mirror Matt just balance each other out so well. Oh. High five and a half. That's so sweet. All five and a half. Yay. Good job, baby. Oh, you did it right yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. You've been practicing. I, I can tell. The choreography there was on point. Yep. There you go. Okay. What is this? Are you sure this isn't on like impossible mode, Matt? I think I mean, this might be on impossible mode. You're welcome to check. Oh, it says easy. It says that. I need you to know I'm getting anxious just like watching how fast these are going with you. Thanks, Ash. Yeah. Unlike other people who remind me that it's on easy mode. You're so valid, Matt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, sure I'm this is valid, Mirror Matt. You're I am so val valid. Without me, you wouldn't exist. <laughs> I am valid. <laughs> Therefore, you are valid. Therefore, Ash is valid. It's I, a validity chain. I like that you need the voices in your own head to validate you. You know, there's been psychological studies done in which positive self-talk <laughs> is an indicator of a sign of success. Am I the negative self-talk? Yes. I think we are the devil and angel on Matt's shoulders <laughs> yeah. at any given point. The mirror Matt and but the Ash. But here's the thing. I don't think that I'm the angel all the time. I don't think you're the devil all the we, time. We switch. Yeah. For sure. Oh, no. Matt's, it's Matt's always. Around the mirror Matt's always the devil. <laughs> Sometimes I join him. Yeah. Then I no, go so, back right. You are, you are the chaotic wheel. Yeah. Like, <laughs> good, <laughs> evil. Who knows what we're going to get when we spin the wheel? <laughs> Some, and sometimes you spin the wheel and the and Ash is off fighting a fruit fly. Yeah. Ash, unavailable right now. Check back later. Fighting fruit fly. Yeah, doing some crimes, assault or crime. Yeah, you're you're busy crime. No I'm one's... busy crime. Yeah, you're busy crime. <laughs> no one's ever pointed at me and said evil before. First time for everything. You're so Welcome valid, to the club. Matt. It's been you're I've, so valid. I've been there. It's like that time that I was at an event and you know a couple people like started to form a line around me and like got to the end of the line, the last skin in the line or whatever. We had waited like 15, 20 minutes. It's like, are you Matt Bat? And I'm like, yeah, nice to meet you. And he's like, you suck. And then runs away. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Waited literally 15 to 20 minutes to just dunk on me. I have so much respect for that. <laughs> That's, That's kind of like, you know, you know that you've made it. 
That's your biggest fan. <laughs> I think. I feel like, yeah. Is yeah. That, is, that, is that them expressing them? So, yeah. Amazing. I'm when you have someone wait long enough so that yeah. way they can tell you much how much they hate. Yeah, it was. It was the point. <laughs> you suck. God. The scurry away is what really sucks. It, it is. Scurry. It was the scurry away. It's funny too cuz Ollie at this point uh we're going to London, which is one of the reasons why we've been pre-filming some stuff uh that's going to air during the summer. Um just because it's going to be harder for me to record over there, at least record reliably, so I want to make sure that there's still stuff going up on the channel. And um so we're going to be spending some time in London. But Ollie is convinced that he is going to meet the Queen. Mm. Convinced. And he is very nervous about this. Oh. And his plan, oh. if he meets the Queen, because he's, he'll say, like, when I meet the Queen, I will hop in my Thrust SSC, which is the fastest car in the world. He, he really believes that he's going to have a Thrust <laughs> SSC, too. Um, or at least in his, in his imagined scenario, this is what's going to happen. When I meet the Queen, she will offer me tea. And I will hop in my thrust SSC and I will turn on all the propellers because also his thrust SSC now can like fly in the air. It's, it's one part drone, one part really fast car. Right. And I will turn on all the propellers and I will fly away. <laughs> That's exactly how he explains it. And so, so this kid was doing, was pulling an ollie on me years before. I think he'll meet the queen. Yeah. Yeah, you think you, so? You have, you already have an in with the Pope. I do. I'll hit. I'll hit. I'll hit up old Francis and be like, "Hey, can you drop a line to Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Lizzie, Elizabeth. can you drop a line to Lizzie? I'm no, I'm in town. Not Lizzie. Love to have some dinner with her. She got some time. How do you keep meeting all of these like major world leaders? Is it because you're also a world leader? It's because I do stupid videos online like this. This is it. This is how I did it. Uh, I, you know, it's a great question. Um, no, it's I don't know. It's uh, by being a, uh, a mildly popular YouTuber that has content that requires a little bit of critical thought, you know, and, and is mildly. decently well-spoken. Yeah. I would say you're just like a popular YouTuber. Uh, yeah. Don't put the qualifier on it. No, 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 no. I, but it's, no, the qualifier came from YouTube. Here, oh, man, Ash, I have so many stories to catch <laughs> yeah, up on. Yeah, he's a medium tier influencer. I'm a medium tier <laughs> influencer by YouTube stand, yeah. <laughs> It's the whole story is their stories. Not the mid tier. Goes, yeah, mid tier. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Anyway, the the long and short of it is a lot of them come through YouTube, and a lot of it is because YouTube, you know, recognizes that we approach our content in a thoughtful, professional way, and you know, we try to spread you know smart information out there. Sometimes it's dumb. A lot of times it's dumb, but it's like at least it's researched and. You know, we, we try to put a good foot forward and, and deliver good content out to the world. So there you go. So so they're like, here, meet the Pope. We're like, okay, <laughs> Undertale. Bada boom. <laughs> gave him Undertale. Unlike the other guy who gave him a surfboard. Which one do you think he's getting more use out of? Oh, absolutely Undertale. Absolutely. Here we go. What do we got here? Uh, the, the girl moon lover was rewatching this food theory episode with a friend when I came across this amazing meme template. Couldn't help but share it. Okay. Matt Pat explaining every FNAF related detail to Mirror Matt on the Iceberg series. Mirror Matt, this is, this is so true. This is <laughs> literally the face that he would give me. And there it is. There's the meme template. Yeah, Matt, is that you? Is this, is, do you feel like this is accurate? Cause I don't think so. I'm more of like a, I, and, and I've been called on this. I give an evil smirk. Mm. I. Evil. <laughs> evil. I. I'm more of a smile at you mm. when I think that you're saying something dumb. That's true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your smile. Well, the the cruelest irony of them all is like if this were truly accurate, Stephanie would be horizontally flipped to face away because Matt's not even paying attention <laughs> when I, I'm like. And then the bite of eighty three happens, which a lot of people considered was the bite of eighty five or the bite of eighty seven, but was neither. It was the bite, of, and Matt's just like off, and he's I'm, like, "Oh, I'm, I've got headphones." I'm inside but, the dryer. Yeah. Yeah, you're you are you are inside the dryer, slowly <laughs> shutting the door, turning it on, and hoping to either not hear anything or blissfully pass into the next world. <laughs> I mean, I'm. It's a time machine. And then there's over. pink guy versus purple guy. You see, you see, and for a while the FNAF community thought because colors were so important that they were actually two different things, but they weren't. They weren't. And then if you type the hex code of the color purple backwards into the wall of FNAF 3, which obviously you know because we covered this on the FNAF Iceberg series, yeah. you get a brand new secret mini game that helps you unlock the happiest day. 
Matt. I and think Matt's, it's... And Matt has gone to the other... Oh, <laughs> headphone issues. Bye. <laughs> and Ash is fighting fruit, fruit flies. <laughs> Ash, who would actually be interested in this stuff, fighting, fighting fruit, fruit flies. Yeah. You, you knew all that, though, right, Matt? I think it's neat that you know so much about something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you meet the Pope. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. dun. <laughs> hey, here we go. Jacob Schindler over on the TikToks back is is he still auditioning is this yeah. is, is, is the continuation of the audition i he's posted some bangers okay yeah oh yeah okay if matt pat was sued oh no welcome to game theory and on today's episode you may remember how i gave the pope undertale but now it's time for a little fnaf you did what Mirror Matt has just informed me that we've received a lawsuit. <laughs> but hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what are we going to do? Hello, <laughs> Internet. Welcome to game. <laughs> oh, no. What are we going to do? Oh, no. Is, is this a... Also, is this his jacket, or is this meant to be a parody of our ARG jacket? Because I can see it working either way. You may way. remember how I like the, the design Undertale. is very similar to a lot now of the things that we have on our ARG FNAF. jacket. You did what? FNAF. FNAF. It is a two-syllable. It's not FNAF. It's right. a two. FNAF. Yeah, what were we gonna say, Ash? Oh, I was. I was gonna make a joke about how are you gonna meet the queen if you're sued by the pope, but. Oh man. No. All the world leaders attack. Did you catch it? Ash, Ash is pulling a Karate Kid right now. <laughs> oh my, he's like, I Mr. Feel like Miyagi, he's you to are get not. In my shirt, and I feel very violated. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi, no, uh, he's so into me. No, there he is. He's biting me now. Uh. <laughs> Jacob Schindler, I need you to know, I love your video. I am so sorry that this fruit fly decided to attack me during oh. this, but I need you to know that this showed up on my For You page. Oh my chaos. And I love it so much. <laughs> There's, so much. There's so much happening right now. <laughs> There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> oh God, he's back. No! Ugh. Are you smushing him against the wall? <laughs> I'll, I'll clean it, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I I, I was, have to do what I have to do, man. I understand. No, I was, I, I, I try not to kill bugs. Actually, it makes me really feel sad. This, this weekend, I was doing a puzzle with Stephanie and there was a little guy like crawling across the board and like I tried to catch him and like get him out but he was yeah. he was one that was like so small and so fast that I'm, like he would just constantly escape and I at a certain point I'm like I'm sorry bud is that a bean we have to go what <laughs> do you see that yes that's a bean <laughs> ash focus <laughs> sorry yes it is a bean <laughs> sorry there's a bean on the ground and I'm really overwhelmed right now and there's a lot happening Man. Can we just turn my mic off? <laughs> Ash is experiencing a lot right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's this time of week again by Lucario Ist. Corporate needs to find the differences between the pictures. They're in the same picture. Yeah, it's true. They are. That was Ash's first day of work. It, yep. Was, was cooking food inside of... If you haven't seen this, all of these are references to, uh, you know, where we use our dryer as basically an oven. And the theory was basically that, hey, dryers dry your clothes using the exact same convection methods that ovens do largely. Um, a little bit of difference, but we're like, hey, if you can cook in an oven, you can cook in a dryer. And it worked! And then we tried again in an episode of Food Theory that's coming up at some point. We made even more cool stuff. But, uh, Ash, what was it? What was it like coming on, you know, your one of your first ever jobs in yeah. the professional world, and you're like, we're standing out in the driveway with a dryer <laughs> and a bunch of steak. What, what, what's, what are your thoughts there? Well, so I parked on the opposite side of the street because mm -hmm. I wasn't sure where to go, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to block anyone. Sure. So I rolled up, and there is a whole dryer yeah. just out there. As opposed to a half dryer that's out <laughs> it, there. Yeah. It was an entire dryer. <laughs> she, uh, you expected a half dryer, quarter dryer? Nope. Nope. A whole, whole dryer. One whole, yeah. It was a unit. Wait, did nobody warn you that it was going to be the dryer episode? I mean... No. We didn't tell her? Oh, why, would we, why, would we, why would we tell them? 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Also, that, I was gonna say that probably would fall. <laughs> yeah. My I, fault. <laughs> I I walk I walked up and there's a dryer. And I'm so nervous, right? Yeah, of course. Like, this is my first, like, big kid job, and I want to make a good impression. So I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I'm going to seize the day, or at least try to. And then there's a dryer, and then it's like, okay, I need you to go and get shrimp. And I'm like, (laughs) what is happening right now? (laughs) So I come back. There's a camera in my hand. I'm running around. Matt and Steph are by this dryer. Um, Matt is setting up a bunch of equipment. I am so stressed out. (laughs) I just want to do a good job, but I have no idea what's happening. Um, And then, you know, we put food in the dryer. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, this is my life now. Uh (laughs) And I'm not mad about it at all. It's good. It was a very, I left very grateful, but also very like, did I do okay? No, you did great. No, and actually, I mean, part... (laughs) I don't know if that was cruel to me. I don't know. I I thought it was a good showing of, I don't know, like a work environment where we're like, okay, go for it. Like, here it is. Go, yeah, like, yeah. take it and run with it. Yeah. And we want you to run with it. But also shows us where you sit as far as your ability to do that, you yeah. know, and your comfort level in doing that. And and either asking for help or just saying, like, I got this. And I, th- I think you, you did a great job. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Yay. Plus, it's 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 one of those things where like every day is going to be something different, and yeah, a lot of di- times we're going to be sitting on the couch talking, but sometimes making shrimp runs and throwing it into dryer <laughs> units. Yeah, or sometimes having couch talks, but also finding a bean on the floor and then fighting fruit flies. Yeah. Right, it's never a dull moment. <laughs> Don't eat the bean. <laughs> He's eating the bean. Don't eat the bean. Oh. oh. <laughs> Misophonia warning. <laughs> That Not bean that has been. Se- <laughs> Hold no, on. never mind. Have you known oh, that, that it's there? there? I haven't seen it, but I'm the the time that that bean would have made an appearance was quite a while ago. Well, this is whack. This entire episode is wacky. <laughs> I love it. Every every time, every time, all three of us are in a room yeah, together. Every time, chaotic. the trio, no, the triangle is here. The it's triumvirate. assessment examination part two. Here we go. Uh, melon head, melon head, arama. I just rewatched the kindergarten series and I had to do this. I am the best nugget voice. No, I am. Amateurs. What was that, punk? Oh, best nugget voice. Steph and I were talking about this over the weekend. Really? You guys haven't had the joy of hearing Steph's nugget voice, have I've you? I've heard it. I've gone back to old videos to watch it and it is quite delightful. Yeah, it is. It's great. Here, mm-hmm. wait. Look, hold up. <gasps> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my gosh. Oh my is gosh. That- can I grab you for just one second? Yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Here, we're going to have a special guest. The moment everyone has been waiting for. This At least it. I've been waiting for this. It's it's it's, it's a special moment oh right now. Oh my gosh. It's going to happen any second now. <laughs> you know, because Stephanie's doing real work <laughs> as opposed to us. Interrupting Stephanie's real work to be like, can you do the little voice? <laughs> do the thing. Do the thing. Please. Do the thing. Hey, Steph, you don't have to come on camera. Okay, my eye is still swollen. Yeah, Stephanie has a swollen eye because oh, no, I, I guess a fruit fly bit her. No. <laughs> a mosquito bit me. Okay. I'm, all, I'm allergic to mosquitoes and I two bit me around my arm. On the face? No. Yeah. On my face. Come on. The gall. <laughs> How like, dare they? One right there. I think there was actually a, a bite right there, a bite right there, and a bite right there. And you can, like, my eye was, like, almost closed yesterday. Sorry. Oh, no. A little bit of a tangent. Hi. How can I help? <laughs> we, we, were, we were hoping that you would do the nugget voice. For what? Well, we're doing a meme review. And... We're doing a meme review, and <laughs> and Jack Septicai and Random Encounters are are debating about who is the best Nugget voice, and then you come in, and you say amateurs. So oh my gosh, so are I, they kidding? Well, I know, but I figured <laughs> now was the perfect time to ask you to to revive that iconic voice. How dare they think that they could be the true Nugget? I am the only Nugget, the only Nugget that matters. <laughs> Woo! Why? I, I don't know no, what that, else would you like no, to say. No, that was, that was Jack Septica <laughs> has nothing on me. Forget about that random encounters. Random. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Bye. Man, I, I hope that the kindergarten team does more games because I love their games and I love their characters and their writing is so solid and it gives me an excuse to harass Stephanie so she can do the <laughs> nugget voice. That was great. 
Yay. See, was it was it was it everything you hoped it would be, Ash? Oh yes, I am a Steph Stan. Nice, a Stanphony. Stanphony. <laughs> nice. Wow. All right. Oh, uh, Matt, Pat, Mirror, Matt, and Ash out of context in random moments. This is from Graceful Studios. <coughs> oh, hey, there's one up here too. Let's take a moment to appreciate. Oh, that's the one we watched. New challenger approaching. Okay. Nice. You never peed on a like a sidewalk. No, oh, pee on a sidewalk? <laughs> what sidewalk? are you, a monster? Sir, you said that so casually, <laughs> friend. <laughs> I kind of like that. I feel that you've got too much. I think that would be sad and scary. Hitting your I can be louder, Matt. Too loud? Oof, I did crime. Duty, right, <laughs> duty calls. They might want to see you die. I just like the phrase, M, A, and then he died. And you're like, oh, well, okay. really gracious of you, that motion, thank you. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> very gracious. <laughs> oh, no. See a massive spider. Ooh, spider in your room, the size of your wall. Oh. Ah! Damn it! Ah! Shoot! God! <laughs> that game, that game, that game was horrific. I, I feel like I feel like the energy in the room has gone just to to pure chaos at this point. Yeah, that's kind of my fault. Right? It it is though. I I it goes back to that dichotomy of of good evil spin the wheel. We. <laughs> I'm on the wheel. Whenever we toss it to Ash. It. Whenever we touch the ash, it's just like, oh, uh, what are we going to get back? You never know. No, it's great. I love it. Thank you. Here we go. GG Live pixel intro from Straw Fumi. Oh, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me turn on the audio. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Yes! This is so cool! Can we use that? I think we should. Can yeah, we use that for we have to. this episode, another episode? Just we must use <laughs> next time we do a pixel episode, some like a like a house or something. We need to use mm. that. Yes. That was amazing. I can People... reach out to Strafumi and be like, hi, please. Yes, please. That, would, please. that would be great. That, you can't see me like poking my index fingers together, but please. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love this. Oh man, I'm so glad this also popped up before we changed the intro. <laughs> See, Stephanie's still here. She popped up in today's. Nugget. She shows up every once in a while. That is so cool. I love this. Oh, a clap and a half. All the biggest clap. You didn't clap, Matt. You thought about it, but you didn't clap. I motioned like I was clapping. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> this is great. Yes, if we can reach out to Straw Pumi, let's let's absolutely use this. I'll great. do it. Nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes! Here you go. Betwixt y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it is It is a bop. It's, it's like what you drew here on this post-it note. Yes. My Almost artwork. one for one. There's a secret post-it note that Ash and I have of of the phony from uh -huh. Betwixt Y'all. <laughs> Should we contact Inner Sloth, the, the creators of Among Us, and be like, have we got DLC content for you? I think we should. Mm -hmm. I think we, we should. should. Have you considered Betwixt Y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Just that nice, too, tall glass of tea. Brilliant. Oh, hello. MatPat has been 10. Uh, Ezra Prisk. So I was watching Matt Pat's gameplay of Neversong in GT Live. Oh wow. I've noticed that his jacket looks like he's in Ben 10. Or, or that I am in Ben 10. I'm using the Ultra Matrix just because the design matches him. I modified Matt's jacket design with combination of his and uh, No Watchman. This is so cool! Yes! Oh, I love this. I also love this jacket design. Like I have this like bright neon green hoodie that I, I wear every once in a while. But I love the little uh, black details that they've added here. This is phenomenal. Yep. That's a great that's a great shot right there too. Mm. Just inspires the artwork. So cool. I love this actually. I am going to This is one of those things where I like I might send this to the creator and guys and be like, "Hey, I've got this green hoodie. It could be better. I just got it for like, you know, 
just on sale at some point. I'm like, oh, it's it's a fun green hoodie. Uh, but I love that how sleek this is. And also Ben 10. Why have we done a Ben 10 episode? Are you guys Ben 10 fans? No. Okay. I wasn't allowed to watch Ben 10 for no? a little bit. Why I don't know why. There I feel like people. we were a weird age when Ben 10 came out. Yeah. I could see that. I think I was a little old for Ben 10. That makes sense. I was going to mm-hmm. say, actually, it was a little bit after. Because the kids that I would babysit watched Ben 10. Mm, interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How do you feel about Paw Patrol? Because we have a Paw Patrol episode coming I, out. I know that that's a loaded question. Is it? I think so. Why? I feel like I heard you and Tom talking smack about Paw Patrol. No. I love Paw Patrol. Do you? I think it's great. Oh. Maybe I misheard. No. Maybe it was the theory that you it's were probably talking the smack theory. about. Well, I mean, uh, the, spoiler alert, the theory is that they're dead or, you know, that they're <laughs> replaced. Yeah, that uh, makes classic. Sense. Yeah, yeah, Classic yeah. film theory, game theory, you know. Dead. They're either dead or the good guy is the bad guy. They're suffering from some abnormality that mm-hmm. will then diagnose, you know. No, it's, it's, it's the fact that I believe that they're dead. Um, <laughs> okay. Or that a previous team has died and that these are the replacements. So, you know, your, your typical stuff. But no, I, I think Paw Patrol smacks. It's great. Love it. Ryder says a RoboPup. Awesome. Top tier episode. I don't think I've ever seen Paw Patrol. You I know. mean, I guess that would make sense. I, right? Why would you? <laughs> Why would you have? Honestly. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, yeah. Although, to be fair, when I was in high school, I studied, I spent a summer watching a lot of Teletubbies to try and dissect the formula oh, and figure no. out why Teletubbies was the way it was. Did you ever figure it out? I did. And what's the answer? Galaxy Brain. Oh, were they dead the whole time? Theory for another Theory for another day. <laughs> she was. I wrote a song. There's a song. There is a song about us. It's out on Spotify? Yes. Wherever you get your music. <laughs> the song it's is out a- on Apple Music and Spotify because Becca. Okay. I'm so excited. Is this going to make me cry? Is it this might. one of those cry songs? It might. We have features on it, Matt. Whoa. I know, you, wait, right? you have features on it? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Hello, Internet. Welcome to game. That's me. Mind your choices and the voices. Oh, wow. Take what you can see. Pretend you know when you will go to where you need to be. Wind up for theory. Game of theorists. That font reminds me of Music Man. Just throwing it's it out there. Just a theory. Oh, cool. A game, film, or food, or mystery. Really? If there's <laughs> a story, you won't have to choose. There's multiple. It's couple if you can find the clues. Yes. You won so many times. Just... It's agony. What's left behind? Oh, hello, game. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I love the energy we've created in the studio today. 
<laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, that was amazing! And it was super well edited, like across the board. Yeah. yeah. I'm wow. Also, crazy quick turnaround. Because right? like those videos came out like last week. Right. I was gonna say, yeah, a lot of those are really recent pulls. <laughs> yeah. And and like referencing you guys and some of the jokes that we made, like fit that in in yeah. a hurry. That, that was, was amazing. Beyond impressive. Right. Mm -hmm. Because Becca, friends. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. And her voice is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Great job. Great. You slay. Right? <laughs> Absolutely, top to bottom, production value, voice, uh, composition of the song, re referency, but not like so referency that it's like, oh, this is just like a fan, like across the board, really, really, really good. Yes, thank you, because there was, Becca. There was one part in this song where it was like a little break from her singing, and it was like, I don't know if it was some kind of, it was put, like her voice was put through a filter, and I haven't been able to figure out what she's saying but in the description it says that there are secrets embedded no within way. the music video no way no way oh yeah. man do well, we yeah, cuz i noticed on... the the subtitles uh, yeah went from clearer, clearer to fear i didn't i yeah. didn't notice the mm -hmm. right and i didn't know if that was just a, i'm like no, oh, there's this secrets. Was a mistake. yeah there's secrets oh, there's secrets oh man that's exciting this is great this is so good please 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 yes hey if this video somehow makes it to Matt Pat himself it did if, there's so, we, we, if for some other very strange he wants to react to it, you can consider that this was written for... Oh, uh, this is amazing. So good. All the permissions, all the love. Please give Becca all the subscriptions, all the views, whatever you feel comfortable with, all the likes. Make this blow up, just like we did with Music Man! Music Man! Make th This is so good. So good. I love it. That was wonderful. Thank you. I'm honored by this. This is unreal. Oh, so cool. Man, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? That's nice. That's really sweet. You know, sometimes you have kids who run up to you and say, You suck! <laughs> Pew! Sometimes you have stuff like this, and you're like, oh, that's a nice one. That, one. that one makes me feel a little bit better. That one makes me feel a little bit more warmer and fuzzier. Other ones, you're like, really? Okay. Not going to disagree. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Matt Patch, you totally make an ARG to leak the fourth channel name. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Good good idea, Sean Wood, 22. Maybe we will. Uh, I know in the build-up for Food Theory, we did a couple of, like, uh, light things where we teased out, you know, uh, you gotta do the color, color brightness slider and a couple things and people didn't believe it. They're like, no! <laughs> what Food Theory? That's a joke. I remember people couldn't figure out what the knife and fork were. Right. They were like, surely it's not a knife and fork. No, they were, they were looking for any excuse for it to be anything other than food related. They're like, knife, fork. Oh, oh, we were right. We just didn't want to believe it. It's like, no, we gave you the answers right there in front of you. Yeah. No, pass. Yes, 100%. Uh, derp, derp me. Made a GT logo into a neon sign. Ooh, is this a real neon sign or a computer generated? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is incredible. Oh, I want to get this like made in real life. Yes. So YouTube uh, sent us a uh, a neon sign of the YouTube play button and uh, theorist underneath, which it's really cool. Um, but man, to get a, a a logo of or to get a neon sign of the logo, that would be amazing. Yes, let's do it. I love we could it. do it. Where else could we? Where else could we use that? Cause that's an, like, again, like these are such cool assets and so interesting. I'd love to spotlight them in more places. That's wonderful. I love it. Thank you guys. Did I miss? Oh, here. No, I think you just pulled up Reddit. Oh. Yeah, so you can browse some memes if you want. Was there stuff that I missed? Press escape. Or escape. F yeah. F11? Yeah. Boop. There we go. Uh, did we um, get through? Where did you guys want to go to? For here? The next one. Yeah, I think <coughs> you missed. Alien lady? Wait, go right no. one. Oh, I see. Um, no clip into the back room? Yeah, so that should be the last one. And then that tab that's open next to you on the left yeah. is just the Reddit page. The Reddit page, okay. Um, those things can there's switch, one other yeah. One I, there's one other thing I'd like to find and then that'll be it. Okay. Okay, cool. Sweet. <clears throat> okay, next up. Uh, from sub <laughs> subliminal list. Oh, yeah, so uh, no clips into the back room. Oh, the wrong back rooms. Part three. This is a three-part series. Okay. Here, let's... I, I don't want to miss any important lore here. 
But we're going to start with part three, I guess. Lord. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have no idea how to get out of here. Internet speed yes! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I found the lore. Oh, who's this? Who is this? You know what that means. Lore! Oh man, okay, so I, so I, I have no clipped into the back rooms. I'm, I'm traveling through the dial-up internet, and then apparently I've summoned, what is this, Omnimat? Is this me? Is this a dark version of me? What could it mean? Dat pet? What do you think it is? Dat pet? It, it could be. Dark mat pet? Could, it could be. Oh, oh. I think you said dad pet. No, dat. Mm. I thought, yeah, dat. Well, you, we could do like as a... In that, but in a cool way, <laughs> that pet, it's, it's dat, dat pet. pet. Well, we can also Pat. do like the, the like the Wario and Waluigi thing and be like yeah. Wattpad. Yeah, it, it could also be Pat Matt. That sounds like Wattpad. I'll think Wattpad. about it. This is anyway. We got lore, so I'm excited for part four, where we find out who this character is. I like that we're getting a mini backroom series. Where's parts one and two now? I gotta hunt these down. Find no them like you found the lore. Find them like the lore. Matt Pat no clips into the wrong backrooms here. I wonder if it's been uploaded onto YouTube. Matt Pat No Clips Backrooms Part 1. No Clips in the Backrooms, is this it? I've seen Karate Kid. Wait, you have? Yeah. Okay, this is from Scary You haven't Breach. seen so many things. Oh no, we're gonna enter the wormhole! Karate Kid, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Wait, I mean... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! What happened? What happened? <laughs> I don't think this is connected to the ongoing series, but I like it. Because it's true. <laughs> that was delightful. Thank you for that. Here, let's try over here. Uh, back rooms, no clip. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Back rooms video, corrections, lonely, how long does it take? Okay, I might have to dig around a little bit more. We'll find it, we'll find it. Uh, there is one last thing, because this was the last one that you pulled up, right, Ash? Yes. Okay, there is one last one, because I saw this the other day. I think it got buried in the subreddit. Ooh. Map Pat rap battle. Ooh, I... There's oh, two? I did not know this. MatPat versus Jax Films. I actually I had no idea. I saw this one the other day. MatPat versus Bill Nye, Fe featuring Snakebite, Snakebite one twenty six and Swizzkey by WCRB. Oh, there's a lot going on. There's layers. There's a lot of layers. Here. I saw this and I wanted to highlight this because and you talking about oh Vsauce versus whoa! I did not realize that there are so many rap battles of me. Oh my, no. whoa. Mapat versus Nostradamus? I bet you flame Nostradamus. Oh, I don't got Nostradamus. <laughs> Nostradamus ain't got nothing on my flow, guaranteed. Oh my gosh. Vsauce, oh, I want to see all of these now. Oh, this is so cool. I, I had no idea. I knew that this one existed from uh, WCRB. So here, let's let's check them out. Um, I didn't know that there were so many now. This is very exciting. Celebrity rap battle. Look at that. You mean mid-tier influencer rap battles? <laughs> let's, let's. Well, no, Bill Nye is a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, this. Wow, no, Bill dude. Nye. Yeah. Wow, dude. Uh, you say that. I I watched uh, a commercial the other day for what was a uh, celebrity worst uh, worst cooks in America. There's a oh, show yeah. called Worst Cooks in America. And celebrity a, edition. Yeah, they have celebrity edition, and I'm I'm like, who are any of these people? <laughs> like. The, the definition of celebrity on traditional media at it's this point loose. has gotten real stretchy. I'm like, at least like Dancing with the Stars, they're like D-list people that I've like heard of. Yeah. At least, or at least I've heard of 50% of them. Uh, the worst Cooks in America celebrity edition. I'm like, none of these people <laughs> have I ever encountered in my life. Okay, sure. So, so yeah. Celebrity. You're somewhere in the middle between Bill Nye and the chefs on Celebrity Apparently Worst Cooks so. in America. Apparently so. Some would say a mid-tier influencer. Yeah, some would say. Uh, celebrity Rap Battles. Let's see it. Okay, wait. Who's going to win? I got to I gotta ask you. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll assess afterwards. But who, going into a rap battle between me and Bill Nye, who's going to mm -hmm. win? I think you've got him. I think yeah. I got to win. After seeing the show that was going to be made, like, after 
like recently. I'm very confident in you. Yeah, I, I, I have seen Bill Nye rap about... What, what was he? He was rapping about like human reproduction or something in oh, one of his episodes oh. of his Netflix show. Oh, no. I think that's what it was. It was bad. Anyway, so if I'm competing against that, I think I got it. My job to make sure education grows. I'm a science explainer, a child entertainer. And face against the guy who's some amiggy culture lamer. I'm not going to spend tomorrow. Your theories only make me question what pills you're popping. So don't just sit on your couch and teach us a new wallowing. When I have met Pat, consider the following. If you want to avoid hate, fill your videos with wit in it. Should you react to critics live? No, you fucking idiot. Whoa! Phil Nice Finn Stumps. Mature streets. Mature streets. My creation of the tube helps at Boeing Blades in motion. Your creations on the tube created Twitter. Okay, legit. Yeah, he got you. Bill Nye. <laughs> he got had you. Some sick, <laughs> I, 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 whew, I, I better come back strong because I'm feeling that one. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Hello, Internet. Welcome to another episode of Culture's Entertainment Show with that tangential learning flow. Giving Ooh. I the normal boots, so did you know? It's been over 20 years since people cared about your show. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. me, you'll get screwed when I attack. Oh, that's funny. you fall harder than an assassin in a haystack. And you're an inspiration, but it's hard to give you credit when you treat your fans like crap. At least until I read it. Oh! I mean, yeah, it's not... Uh, I did see Bill Nye at an airport one time. And he was looking so old and angry Ooh. and <laughs> old is the wrong word for it. Tired and angry yeah. and crotchety. Like he did, blood. Like, crotchety is a good crotchety. Word. Yeah. Yeah. That he I would have loved to have just like met him, mm. but it he felt so standoffish that I was scared to do it. And then I went to the the premiere of his like biography or his movie mm -hmm. about like his the documentary on his life. And again, I'm like, oh, this is my chance to meet him afterwards. And he was so mad. It, it, he mm. felt like so angry to be there. Mm -hmm. That again, I'm like, no, mm. no. So there's some truth to this rap battle. No, and, and, so, and so it's like one of those things. And so like one of those like don't meet your hero sort of things. Mm -hmm. Like Bill Nye, I feel like I can't meet, which is a bummer. Don't meet your heroes. You can meet me Flame though. them in a rap battle. Yeah, flame them in a rap battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take them down. My proxy. <laughs> don't meet your heroes unless they're Matthew but Patrick. No, but yeah, you can meet me. I'm, I'm always excited to meet people. And, <laughs> and even if I'm having a bad day, I'll, you know, I'll make sure that you have a good time. I'll make sure you have a good time. Mm, mm, that was weird. All right. All right. Moving on. Get the deck of steak at your ass. Oh, you shit. You're overshadowed by Neil deGrasse. Ah! Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you need a big creationist for why to find media. Oh, really want to bring up the fight against nine? Please remind me who's behind the multi-million dollar line. Oh, oh, that's good. Bill Nye's taking me down. I'm losing. It's not a coke addiction. When it comes to an abduction, mine is much better than this guy who can differentiate a Ken skeleton. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Never before has a boy wanted more. You're under less accurate than my predictions on films. Here's the second time I've had to do with Lucius Bullets, Bill. You're about to get whipped, and they crushed by my skill. And this guy, science guy, I won't tax over this bill. This has been facts. Now you're lacking affirmation, because your prime is past, like your NASA application. You're calling teaching psychopathy. It's a me. You teach ways of chemistry, but can't grow your family tree. This video game still has violence, but I have to disagree based on the way your fans reacted to your Undertale theory. I'm here to save the world with an outfit so slick. Well, you spent time in the closet measuring. I mean, I do. I spend a lot of time in the closet doing that. That is my job. <laughs> I, I'm not going to deny that. Oh, no. Oh, Bill Nye is, is spitting some sick truths about me. I've lost. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Oh. I'm interesting because his life has been digressing with political side questing oh. and a Netflix show my guess is just a sex filled mess. Is he? It's the so first show is pretty PBS. So it's Bill's real desire <laughs> so at the end of the day. Jumping from field stand up to some pointless debates. That's right, Bill's trying to play the industry like it's a game in a desperate attempt to claim fame. But hey, that was fantastic. Yes, yes, that was awesome. Also, animation on point. Yeah, like, really, like, really well done. Really well done. Like not just like the live action effects and all that stuff, but also like mimicking our like animation style and stuff. It's so good, so good. Except for the fact that I lost. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any debate there. Like I got wrecked by Bill Nye. Yeah, they brought up Ollie. They, I got wrecked. Yeah, it was, it was bad. 
And, and to be fair, most of that is, is put on by me. Like, I, I bring it on myself. <laughs> I think it's a testament to the <laughs> fact that you're such a beloved creator. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So that, true. That yeah. I have no pre time. Like, ah, oh, here I am. Well, no, I'm like the fact that, that they were able to. penis again. <laughs> okay. Again. Okay. You have to double check. <laughs> Sometimes you make mistakes in your measures, Matt. Sometimes, you know, you gotta adjust accordingly. There's always new information coming forward. That's true. <laughs> Generous estimates. But no, it's a testament to how well-loved and, like, how much people know about you. Yeah. Because you've you've put out so much good content. Oh, Aww. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. Heart stickers, heart emoji. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and, well, we have these other ones, but maybe we react to these next time, I guess. Because uh, that was really sweet, Matt. That was nice. That uh, was I figured good. we ended on a tender note. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's so you're, cute. You're, you just want to, like, you just want to rebrand after I pointed <laughs> I, at you and said evil. Evil. <laughs> well, you bought me candy, you I know. Lemon heads. <laughs> don't, don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, you know, so write down, Ash, uh, next time we do one of these, we should react to the, because I, I had seen, I started watching this one. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, I want to save this for a meme review. So actually, I never got through it. I stopped it, like, after Bill Nye's first verse or something. Um, so that was literally me watching it for the first time. I have, I didn't even know that these other things existed. So I would love to see all these other rap battles. I'm very excited about that. So next time, let's start off with some rap battling. And then we'll, we'll mix in some other things. So anyway, as always, guys... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for making this mid-tier influencer feel so proud <laughs> of, the, of, of everything that you guys do, of the stuff that we do on the channel, um, for making Matt and Ash feel loved and, and welcomed onto the team as, as quickly as they have uh, and embraced into this community as quickly as they have. So across the board, you are amazing. I love seeing the stuff that you're producing. I love reading your theory episodes. I love uh, you know seeing stuff like this be produced and songs and 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 fan art and everything. It's, it's just incredible. So uh, you guys are incredible. You're wonderful. Uh, thank you for changing my life. Thank you for changing the lives of everyone here on the channel. Um, you know, the, the forgotten channel, the, this, <laughs> this, the, the, the not fourth channel, the, yeah. the channel that doesn't count. <laughs> uh, so no, you guys are amazing as always. So uh, we'll see you in the next video and keep those things coming for the next meme review. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya and watch out for fruit flies. Thank you.